What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Today I want to show you how you can get an extremely rare Pokemon, and that Pokemon's name is Printplup. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Jono, I can get a Printplup easily. All I have to do is evolve a Piplup. However, if you want to get a perfect Pokedex entry on Printplup, you're going to have to find one in the wild so you can feed it five times. You may be here on this video exactly for that reason. Now I googled and I tried to figure this out and the information on Google is absolutely worthless. I did not find any help from it. So what I'm going to do is explain to you how you can get a print plup in the wild using the method that I'm about to detail right here. Now there's a few things that you need to know first off. Print plup spawns on this side of the pond. The side of the pond that is nearest to the ocean. Now you may be wondering, Jono, there's a Piplup right over there. That Piplup is always going to be a Piplup. It cannot turn into a Printplup. I spent hours here and I thought that that's what would happen. That's actually not what will happen. There's also two Bibarels that usually hang out in this location and the Bibarels are actually the only Pokemon that have a chance to turn into a Printplup. So sometimes when you go to this area, Bibarel won't be there and a Printplup will be there or there will be a Piplup Piplup as well and in that case you will have two Piplups. I'm going to show all of that on this video so you know that what I'm saying is true and I'm not just making it up. I'm also going to speed up some parts of this video because it takes forever to fly across the ocean and that is for your convenience. Now let's talk about the three spawns that are around this pond right here. This is the area where it says that Piplup will spawn and it will spawn here. However, it will never ever be this Piplup. So why am I chasing away the Piplup? Well, you might get lucky and there'll be an Alpha Piplup there and that'd be pretty lucky if you're doing an Alpha Living Dex like I am. Or you could get really lucky and it's a shiny Piplup. However, what you want to focus on is the two Bibarels. Make sure you catch or defeat these two Bibarels. Get them out of here and what we're going to do is reset this area and make them respawn. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I know how to make spawns reset. I'll just go back to Jubilee Village and then come back here. That's going to take you forever. Don't do it that way. I have a faster way, okay? Also, if you're looking for the evolved form of print plup there's an alpha one right by the beach if you're looking for that hey it's right down there so you can get the entire family in this local area now here is the method go ahead and make sure you know what time it is right now it is midday for me so i'm going to reset the time until morning you can go back and forth from morning to midday and then back to morning and then back to midday and it will make the spawns reappear However, the fastest way to get back over to that area is to then teleport over to the Molten Arena and then fly over to the area. Why is it faster? Because you don't have to fly through the mountains and you don't have to climb through the mountains. But one thing you do want to do is drop yourself off on this ridge right here and then fly up from there. That way you don't end up in the water and you can make it all the way to the beach. The developers were super nice and I bet they knew you were going to do this. So they made it work out just perfectly to where if you go off of that ledge around the volcano rim, you can get all the way over here without landing in the water. And it's just a tiny, tiny bit faster. Like I said, I did this for hours, you guys. I was really confused about how to get a print plup and I really wanted to feed it five pieces of food like we're about to do here in a few minutes. And this is the process that I used and I did it wrong for a very long time until I finally looked it up online and I found somebody who had got a wild print plup and I noticed it was on this side of the pond, not on the other side of the pond. I thought that Piplup could possibly turn into a print plup, just like if you know where the Turtwig spawns, which is also by a cute little pond, Turtwig can sometimes be a grottle. I don't think that Piplup can turn into a print plup. I tried it for hours, I never got a single print plup. However, the two Bibarel definitely can turn into a Piplup, as you see here in just a second, and they can also turn into print plup, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, and I'm gonna show you again here in just a second. Now, I wouldn't put this video together unless I knew exactly what I was doing because I wanted to make sure that I put out the best information possible. Because like I said, I got on Google earlier and there was nothing but garbage information. It was totally useless and I couldn't make sense of it. But I did notice that it says you can get print slup in this area in the Pokedex in the actual game. So I thought to myself, there's got to be some logic there. It must work out this way. And I got extremely lucky. I did this for a while after I started catching the Bibarel and getting them out of there. And I was also defeating the Bibarel because I wanted to do some Pokedex research on some of my other Pokemon. 
on, so I was using up their moves and defeating the Bibarel. It doesn't matter either way, catch it or defeat it, it's the same thing. And I eventually came back and I found this Alpha Print Club. I got really lucky. That was pretty awesome. And as you can see here, I was able to feed it the five times and finally complete the Pokedex research. Now, in order to get my last remaining Print Plups, I'm not going to do this process. I'm simply going to evolve a couple of the Piplups that I caught. And when you evolve those Piplups, it will count as getting your Print Plups. And that is the easiest way to get the five caught. You don't have to catch five in this location. Just evolve some Piplups and it will count towards that. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope this was the best information you could possibly find on the internet because it was the best information that I could possibly put together for you and I did not find any better information on the internet and I thought to myself, I have to make this video for the people. All right, that's gonna be it from me, you guys. Quick and easy, you should be able to get this thing. Just make sure you get rid of those Bibarels and keep on resetting the spawns like I showed you over at the tent and then you should be able to get yourself that print plup. It's also worth mentioning that you could get a print plup from a massive mass outbreak since the Daybreak DLC came out, so that's another way you could complete this research. Thanks everybody for watching, thank you to all of my amazing subscribers, and peace!